Hello, how are you? Have you ever wondered about the things that we cannot see? Take a look at your hands. It may look clean, but if you look at it under a device that could magnify tremendously, it actually contains a lot of microorganisms. Welcome back to Small Turbo YouTube channel. So this module, Module 2, Life Through the Lens, will open your eyes to the things that you could not ever imagine. Life is pretty interesting, and at the microscopic scale, it can also be beautiful, strange, intriguing, frightening, and gross. Be a scientist yourself. Let's work hand in hand as we find ourselves in the process on focusing and proper handling of microscope. To start with, let's have the what I know portion. Alright, so for the what I know portion, I'll just go over to the questions with its answers. All you have to do is you may pause the video for you to uh, focus on the answers. But as of the moment, since the discussion would be later, so I'll just uh, flash the questions with its answer. So the highlighted in yellow are the the answers for its, I mean, the answer for its cor corresponding number. For number one, and we have number two here. Okay, number two, it's Mary's, uh, microscope. Three is nose piece. Four is fine adjustment. Five is ocular. Six, coarse adjustment. Seven, revolving nose piece. Eight, condenser lens. Nine, stage clip. And for number 10, letter A, it increases the image size. 11 is B wash, the base and arm. 12, C to see clearly the specimen. 13, letter D, to let the cheek cells stay on the slide and not fall of it. Number 14, it's letter D, yes, because coarse adjustment knob is for the fast movement of the body tube and fine adjustment knob is for the slow movement of the body tube. 15, it's letter C, no, Lily should adjust the diaphragm and the mirror because these parts are responsible in providing of light. So that's the what I know portion. Alright, now let's proceed to the what's in portion. So in the previous lesson, we already learned about the parts and functions of the microscope. So here it is scrambled. So for number one, the answer is stage. Number two is eyepiece. Number three, diaphragm. Number four, body tube. And number five is arm. Number six is nose piece. And number five is face. And for the what I am, uh, what am I? So supports the upper part of the microscope, its arm, located under the stage, controls the amount of light allowed to pass through the object, it's the diaphragm, and the small platform where the specimen is placed for evaluation, that stage, and holds objective lenses and can be rotated, we call it revolving nose piece, and the bottom part of the microscope supports the entire microscope, it's the base. Alright, so for what's new portion, you can basically perform this when you're with, when you are with a microscope. So these are the materials that you need. And basically these are the procedures. A, B, C, D. And the illustrations. Alright. So that's letter E. Okay, so under the microscope, this is actually letter E cut out. No, we cut it out in the newspaper, for example, and under the microscope using the low power objective, this is the view of this letter E, and using the high power objective, this is the view because it's only the portion of the letter E can that can be seen using the high power objective. All right. So another activity, onion cells under the microscope, still you need to use a microscope. So if you have a microscope with you, feel free to perform the activity. And without much further ado, let's now proceed. Alright, so using the low power objective, this is the view of the onion cell. And using the high power objective, this is it. And yeah, we have the cytoplasm, the nucleus, the dot, 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 and the cell wall. So these are the parts of the onion plant cells that are visible under the microscope. We have the cytoplasm, which is the jelly-like substance inside a cell where organelles are embedded. Anyway, we're going to study about cytoplasm, different parts of the cell, plant cells, animal cells in the, in the incoming, upcoming module. Then we have also the cell wall, which is the rigid wall that surrounds and supports the cell. 
and the nucleus is the central part of most cells that contains genetic material. So it's the circle and it's uh, black, solid black. Yes, and you may draw the image of onion skin here. And for the what is it proportion, so how to focus the microscope. So these are the steps on in focusing the microscope so first is you uncover the microscope and wrap the cord and plug it in our face to mirror an area with enough light source clean all glass surfaces with lens paper start with the eyepiece then do the objectives the substage mirror or illuminator and end with the stage window then third is to turn on the light or adjust the mirror so that the light shines through the stage window Adjust the diaphragm under the stage so that a medium amount of light gets through. Adjust the fine focus knob to a middle position. Fourth is to place the slide on the stage with a slide, slide clip holding down each side of the slide. Center the specimen of the slide over the wind stage window. Then fifth, using the low power objective, focus with course adjustment. Start with the objective as close to the slide as possible and focus away from the slide. Before turning to a high power or higher power, make sure there is something worthwhile to look at and center the specimen in the middle of the field. Seventh, without changing the focus adjustment, change to the next highest objective. The centered specimen should be in view and should be almost in focus. Now focus with the fine adjustment knob. Then repeat step 6 and 7 up to the highest power. Then 8th step is to clean up. Return to low power objective before taking off the slide. Clean and dry the stage and objectives. Turn off the light and wrap the cord neatly around the base of the microscope and replace the cover. Then we have here the illustrations on how to use a microscope to observe a specimen. So first, put a table lamp in front of the microscope or adjust the mirror so that the natural light is reflected through the window or stage window. Then second is to put a low power eyepiece into the microscope. Third is to rotate a low power objective into the position. Fourth is to look through the eyepiece, adjust the mirror until you see a bright circle of light. Fifth is to place a slide on the stage and fix it with the clips. The specimen in the slide should be right above the hole of the stage. Then look at the microscope from the side, turn the course adjustment tab carefully to lower the objective until it is very close to the slide. Then seventh is look through the eyepiece, turn the course adjustment knob to raise the objective slowly until you can see an image of the specimen. Then eighth, turn the fine adjustment knob to get a sharper image. The image is shown or is now in focus. And we have here the wet mounting a specimen. So in a wet mount from the word wet, so the specimen is placed in a drop of water or other liquid held between the slide and the cover slip by surface tension. And these are the procedure or the steps in doing the wet mount. Okay, just pause the video to follow the steps then for the what i have learned so this is already discussed in the previous one so just post this video to go over to the, the answers then we have the what i can do you can do this on your own and the assessment okay you just post this video for the answers okay Kasi mag, ano na tayo, mag magnification process na tayo. Okay, just pause this video for you to go over to the answers, to the questions with its answers. Alright, in the what I know portion na tayo sa magnification process, pakipost pa rin ang video para pag go over niyo ang correct answers. Sa discussion na ako, discussion part, ako magdi-discuss kasi kita later. Kaya later na rin ako mag... Okay, and this part still it's, has something to do with the parts and functions of the microscope. Okay, just pause the video. Okay, then, yeah.
the total magnification. So, magnification is the measure of the ability of lens to produce a bigger image of an object. So, how to do the, or the, how to calculate the total magnification, all you have to do is to multiply the eyepiece lens and the objective lens. And you have the total magnification. So, example, you have here, eyepiece lens is 5 types, objective lens is 10, 50 times. So, all you have to do is you multiply the new numbers, 5 times 50, that's 250, and copy the common variable, which is x. Okay. The same pa rin sa iba. Then, we have the microscope scenario. So, we have the scenario here. The microscope has an eyepiece magnification of 10 times and has 3 times objective lens lenses, namely low power and high power. Scanning objective lens has a magnification of 4 times. Low power objective lens has a magnification of 10 times. And high power objective lens has a magnification of 40 times. So, let's fill in the magnification. So, for the eyepiece lens, so 10 times siya lahat. For the scanning, it's 4 times. Low power is 10 times. High power is 40 times. So, your microscope, if you combine the eyepiece lens with 10 times and the objective lens, which is the scanning, your total magnification is 40 times. Kasi 10 times 4 is 40. And copy lang yung x. The same sa iba. Then we have here the proper care and maintenance. So, when carrying your microscope, hold it by the base and the stage. Totoo ba yan? No, base and the arm dapat. On an annual basis, moving parts on the microscope should be cleaned and lubricated. Yes, of course. And so on. No? Very, ito naman siya. Very, what's this? Understandable naman siya. Yeah, this is a magnification. All you have to do is you multiply the ocular lens and the objective lenses. So basically, yung 4 times, factor niya, image factor niya is 4. Scanning ito, scanning objective. 10 times is for low power objective. And 40 times yung, ano niya, yung high power objective siya. Factor of 40 ang image. Magnifies by the image of, or factor of 40. So, 10 times, for example, magka, I mean, how much is the total magnification if you have the 10 times objective lens and the 50 times, no, 10 times uh, ocular lens and 50 times objective lens. So, we have 500 times. So, napakadali lang mag-compute ng total magnification. I-multiply nyo lang and copy the common variable, which is x. Kailangan may x. Kung walang x, wrong na siya. Then, we have the proper handling of the microscope. So, first is handle with care. Then, tip to keep lenses clear of slides. Tip 3, clean after using. Tip 4, cover when not in use. Tip 5, look after the bulbs. Store in a clean, dry place. Only use special lenses, paper, or wipes for cleaning the lenses. Hindi pwede yung tissue. And keep your user's manual and wrenches in a safe place. That's it. And yeah, tip 9. Perform an annual maintenance check. Ito yung ano natin ganina. Then have your microscope serviced professionally. Then the what's more, pakipos na lang. Okay. Napakadali lang naman ito. Fill in the blanks lang. 5 times. Di meron siya total na 20 times. So, 5 times, 4 times para maging 20 times. Okay? Ito nakablo. Ito yung mga answers natin. And next is, yeah, what I have learned. Paki pause pa rin sa video natin. Ito yung answers sa ating what I have learned. Then, for the what I can do, okay, nando naman siya sa, ano, previous lesson natin. And for the assessment, malapit na maubos ang ating oras. Pakipos na lang ng video para mag-over nyo ang answers na natin. Okay? Anyway, na-discuss naman natin ito. Uy! Additional activities, ito yung answer natin. Sana po may natutunan po kayo. So, dito po tayo nagtatapos. Okay, balikan muna natin to. Okay.
dito tayo nagtatapos. So, bye-bye. Thank you.